in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, God bless you, Anna, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, in the world without end. Amen. Lord Jesus, I entrust the world to you, I entrust Africa to you, I entrust Ghana to you, may you have mercy on us, we as a nation has been consecrated to your sacred heart. Your heart was pierced with a lance, and from it came water and blood. The symbols of our baptism and salvation have mercy on us. Forgive the sins of your people. We have become so obstinate and headstrong. But as Moses implored your father's mercy, so I implore your mercy this day upon the people of this land. May you not hold our sins against us. Cause us to change and do that which will please you. In your own name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And so dearly beloved in Christ, of the Eucharistic Lord. Behold the Lamb of God, He who takes away the sins of the world. John the Baptist pointed at Jesus, said, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. I am going to reflect with you based on chapters 32, 33, and 34 of the book of Exodus. Monday, we read 32. Yesterday, Tuesday, we read 33. Today, Wednesday, 34. I want to put all together and help us to appreciate what true worship is and why Catholics worship the way we do and why the worship we have today which is in vogue it is unchristian ungodly because from, Gen from Genesis to Revelation there's nowhere that People were taught to worship God in pride, to worship God just out, to command God. We implore the mercy of God. We do not command God. We implore his mercy. So briefly, I will let you know what, what we have ahead of us, or what you can see, signify. I, as a priest, I am kneeling down at the moment because God, Christ, is on his throne. I can't stand. The angels, we are told, they bow their heads, veiling their faces, worshiping God. So who am I, a priest, mere mortal, to stand above the Lord when he's enthroned. Who am I? If anybody goes to meet Otunfo, he sits. And when you go to greet him, you bow. 
It is not able for us to do that to a tomb for. But it's a perfect devotion to do that to God. In the Son, Jesus Christ, who is the Emmanuel, God with us, the Word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. So in this church, you will see sacramentals and you will see the object of our worship, Jesus Christ. So I have used this place before, but I'll still go on to talk about on top, we have Divine Mercy image, the stream, and we have Our Lady and Her Son. We have in the middle the crucifix. Now we have Jesus Christ, the Sacred Heart, here down beneath the uh, image of the Divine Mercy. And then we have the tabernacle, the right corner, and you can see if I go down, you see the tabernacle. So the light is shining there perpetually. So you have, you have the light radiating at the background. To the left, far left also, we have Our Lady statue, Our Lady of Fatima, down beneath the one, the picture on top. And then we have the light there also. Our mother is also aligned with us interceding for us. So you enter this chapel. Ideally, your mind should tell you that, hey, Our Lady is there interceding for us. Hey, the Lord himself is there also redeeming us. This is an altar, beautifully made with wood dough, golden altar. We have our candles burning, the two, perpetually, so far as the Lord is enthroned here. And so, out of the Mass, where Christ gives his body and blood, and as we heard last Sunday, that what was left, the leftover pieces of the bread Christ used to save the people, he put them together. So we preserve them in the tabernacle. They are meant for the sick, especially, because I have to go to them to give them the body of Christ. And then also the sick and aged, and the indisposed who cannot go to church. But we also have one to remind us of the Emmanuel that perpetually is with us. So we enthrone him on the altar. He himself is the altar, and he is present in the priest who offers a sacrifice to God the Father. That is why we address the Father in the Mass. And then he is the King, the King of kings, the Lord of lords. Through him all things were made. So he is in the blessed sacrament, the body of Christ. On him the Lord has set his seal. The Father has set his seal on him. So everything from the Old Testament points to Jesus, and everything in the New Testament flows from Jesus. He is the pivot of our faith and all revelations. Now I'm wearing, besides my underwears and my trousers, I am wearing also the cassock. This is a cassock. It has buttons. Then this is an owl wearing over the cassock. The cassock is working dear. So I can wear the, the cassock to go anywhere. The cassock is going to go on anywhere to everywhere. To want to everywhere you want to go as a priest. It is our character, it's our habit. To be seen as a priest. So if you see a policeman is not in uniform, then he's working in disguise. Of course, you have see ideas who are working in disguise for a particular reason. But a priest is a public figure. A priest must be seen visibly by everybody who meets him. Yes. Unless for special reasons, let's say those in missions where they are fighting Christians and killing them. If you go and wear them from you'll be killed. So you disguise yourself, you go and attend to them. But in an environment where we are so free, we can't but wait. So the out is a liturgical garment. garment. We use it when we come to perform liturgical function, to celebrate the sacraments. That is why we wear the out. Now I'm putting something on, again, 
wearing stool. A stool is a symbol of my office as a priest. So I'm wearing a stool, white. And then wearing, we call it humeral veil. Humeral veil. Humeral veil. Now, it's from the word humus. Humeral veil. It comes from the word humus. Humus is soil. So it is that which makes us humble. As two ends. As if you are angels, or you are an angel wearing it with the, 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 the wings of the angel. So you tag it like this. You remove it like this. You tag it. Once you tag it, it's like you are like an angel. The priest or a deacon is supposed to represent the angels also who worship God day and night in humility. Have you seen how rich the church is? So I will not just wear my, my cassock and come to the Lord. There should be a distinction between outside and the house of God. And even in the church, this should be the sanctuary, the holy place. So not everybody can come here. Then I'm only going to hold the holy of holies. So I can't just go and hold him anywhere. I have to hold him with this. So this is supposed to be white. In actual fact, the chapel of the Hakali Church must depict heaven. So the linens that cover the Lord and all that is white. That's how you see. The human veil is supposed to be white. Because God is pure and we are going to him. He's going to shine. So it's usually it's supposed to be white. We'll find time and teach about all this. But just to let us know what is happening and to draw our minds to the origin of the Catholic faith. So what we have seen is more or less in relation to paralytical activity, that which is outside of mass. Maka Mechresenia Catholic Sono Etia Efitite. Esono Efritite. And I can't be sure that in the future, the ACO, Mosi, woman, I don't see you. I don't know if you can. You can't. I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can. I can't. 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 Na machere se niya, ni wa habi ya ano, wa na sitre, na Christ, eno oti, ni afo, ni, 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 eso, eye ota no. Afo e bo, muti ya, oti so, eyo hini, oni humu na hini, inti ziye ba, ni ziye ba tun tun no. Sa po, jyano me tu akati wa hini, wo sire no bwane pache, wo tun tun no, asa. Onu, onu no yo hini papa no, oni mdiya hiya, oni hiya, oni hiya no. Oh my young could too was as so and so with you. Daddy, oh no, uncle, oh poison with you, no, 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 bell aqua, nipotic water, daddy. Christ, I need genius and a tear. In two months, Sanishi, or not so in the other month, Sunday, me and Senior, or my Danny, oh dear, my big eye, a brusso. I'm going to do my big guy. I go for on him day here, on him day here. I say a bar. I'm not on tour no. I'm not nasty. No more. I'm not bonnet here no. I'm not swear bonnet fat here. I'm not afraid of force so so. Adi, ah ah, I'm not scared of no. I'm not any Israel phone in a. I'm not even a house on my son no. I'm not buy any. I'm not so much in the deal money. No, I'm not. I'm not going to cast a mo. In the Abashe, near Corso, our Mosse, who might let us mean, a two, a tea, a do mean, sir, no mean, a dream, a dresser, a dreamy, sir, a dresser, a name, a dana, a do night, my dana. Aha, thirty three. Hey, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll talk, may I confuse? Thirty two. 
Ebe she ni e ko so. No yati no ma so na si ye. Ne di kan. Ne di kan. Kati tu no e man de she no. Mo se ko popo no so ko e popo o. So ko fa apam na ba. Apam na o tele di chomo no. O ko fa ba. Ode ba e no. O be du form o be du form na assistant e Joshua. Ate bibi I'm a boy, I'm a tuny mummy, I did it. I say, Hm, Mose. The dear meat, yes, I'm a papuna, I'm a good dink with me. And I said, Your poor mum, your poor mummusu, my dear Bobo. And no tear. Nessa, pa, dear, I mean, my dear Cosso. And I'm mostly cash and say, Tabida, Sa, and near me tea. The day I yet tea, and yet the dear Effa Akum say, You'll be dear Kunim, a dear we see. And I said, O be ye bono, ye kunu, na o dear Bobo. And yet we see, and I said, Bobo, a swing. Nemo, a ye chanting. If he came, a song be na air cosso, a song be a anti assay meeting a cosso. Could do for me or share ya. Now a boa and a aeron or loss of honor. Wedding go fear me, say young son. I didn't hear. I see, oh, most any meal, wouldn't you go fear go for me? Oh, yeah, I must say a day, wouldn't you? So I see a day. In Thomas Shammy's answer, I won't back, won't buy a chair, I won't back. I tell my own back. See, I shall miss Shammy, I say. Yan Yan Sumi and Ami. And to make us okay, we all go to be a good year to come to be a fabra. Normally by an empty two German, only two German, a bay, a boy, a yer Sumi. Mussy, a yamia. Mussy, so a day a kuma, a kuma, a kuma, a mum who said, Oh, my bonnet, papa, because and tell you, Bian, I go for them with their charm, say. And running ye, one so mean to one, some bosom, Bian, and Bian coming home. I'm a I'm a boy. I'm a boy. I'm a a Nemo, so far, show what they are. That in your so, we did not show a woman in the patch of the perfume because we know we are back. Unto me, said me, Unto me, Guana, Unto me, at the Nisrao. And you are the Cassai. I say, Share, Mosi, I am Pap, Nemo, Mim, Kum, Amo, Woody, Min, you would be in feet, Nemo. Nippon or your bonnet, but she nassle. Say many swan, but she nassle. One a year bonnet. Now me am fat blame am ma is a money now. No more, Aaron, the Nia bonnet. Not even Nia bonnet. I say, but she nassle. The many swan. The other me yam, no more, a mean path, but she nassle. And that thirty three. And a Yusia, Senia Mosi. Now, of course, man, of no affidavit, um, who among Massi, Edimano. No Mosi, a bear omu nami omu tin. A young pansel, or no drama, mammy, 
Nti se mo se o twem if in fie the tent mu akɔ bi bia na nyame nsu no hɔ a ɔkwa obi a pie bigan ne da ne pon no na obi a bu no ase be bi gina hɔ ansɛ se mo se etwem akɔ se bɔ kɔ na eh munukuru ejina tent mu am e twen yakopɔ ne nsu ɛwɔ hɔ god's presence holy presence this is holy ground. We stand on God's holy ground. For the Lord is present, and where He lives is holy. This is holy ground. Look at the ambience. Look at the ambience. Look at the environment. When we, if you have spiritual eyes, we will see God present when we gather. The heavens come down. People have eyes. Some individuals do see things during mass. People see. Simple hearted people, they see. Some children see what is happening. Sometimes we priests don't even see what is happening. We don't feel it, but it's happening. We are giving the feedback. Father, when you're having mass, this and this and this are happening. Let me tell you one of them briefly. Father Luis was a parish priest, community eight. One of our Pentecost Novena celebrations. And that's the only time I knew that we're having Mass to end, have a vigil Mass for Pentecost. Since then, since I Louise left the church, we never had that again. I never saw it again, but I, I celebrated it. Yes, there's a vigil Mass for Pentecost. We read about four readings or five readings. Similar to vigil Mass on Saturday, uh, Holy Saturday. During that mass, I was a mass ever. Later on at the mass, I think there was time for sharing or so. At a point in time in the course of the week, the following week, a woman shared her experience that when Father was celebrating mass that day, she saw two other people with her, but she was, he was alone. Two other people with, sorry, with him, with Father, alone. During consecration, as if it was far fetched, at start of the sea, the first time I presided over the feast of service of Epiphany. That was my first, the first time I presented over it. Father Totten was with me. We celebrated the, the, the feast together. But there was this catechist, there's a man who's the catechist, who later on told us, told me that during consecration, you saw three sets of hands over the listen, but there were two. People see things. I started at the Lashidi. People were seeing things during consecration. Of course, later on, I also was blessed to have seen heaven on earth. Look, things happen when God messes with us. At a lady of Lutz, Glepe, Glepe, that's my last stop. It was an hour station. During Mass one day, it was about the, the feast day. I got stuck, having opened, I saw it. But because I stammered, those who knew me thought that I was stammering, that's why I paused. But I saw the heavens, the Lord on his throne, the Holy Spirit, and lady, the saints, the angels. So I paused before I continued. Things happen when you move. The, the pillar of God's presence was there in the tent. And we are told that when the Lord also came, Moses bowed down his head to the ground. He bowed to the ground. Who was he to raise his head? Who was he? That was Moses offering worship to God. He himself was a sacrament, okay, an outward sign, towards an inward grace. But he also would go and have to show total reverence to the Most High. Now, in today's reading, 30, 34, they are told, they are told also how Moses brought back the covenant. After he had written it again, 
And when he came down from the mountain, they saw his whole being radiating, illuminating. Most in pele, in pele, in shiny, in pele. Mishao swalo so mama nube sankwilai. Kwa mbo jingwe bo fulela. Alleluia, che bolo si mi c'è o solo so amano essa qui lei. Yes. But how did it happen? Moses in yesterday's reading 33 had gone to the Lord's presence. He fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. I'm not saying it. Exodus chapter 33. Have you heard that before? That Moses, mortal like us, he who killed, he had murdered, fasted 40 days and 40 nights without food. No food, no water. Now, the word fast in Aramaic or Hebrew is chum. Chum means to thank the Lord. You see the now we have the nose marks. You wear it. Can you eat? Can you drink? That was fast. So because you are not fasting, God has demonstrated to us we should wear the marks to fast. But you see, we are wearing it and we are eating. We come to church and we are saying that, oh, you have to wear the mask by force. Hey, 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 hey. Let us stop eating. That is it. No wonder party is what is, they say party is causing all the problems. They always say party, party, party. Is eating that is making us happy COVID, isn't it? We need to abstain. When you abstain, you delve into the mysteries of God because you are denying yourself of worldly or material good. It is not evil. Food is not evil. But when you deny yourself of it, you can arouse because you are humbled. You become even weak, but you will not die. Jesus did 40 days, 40 nights. And we have been taught and we are teaching people that Christ, it was Christ, that's why he, did not, he could do it 40 days, 40 nights without eating. Man can do it. Moses did it. So be to my ye, my ye, ye, da, unsu ya, obe ye, ye. Obe bini be ya, ye, ma, ye, ye, da, unsu ya, obe ye, ye. We don't know the Bible. We have the Bible. We don't read the Bible. These readings have been read every two years we read it. So how come? And they say, those of us who try and fast and talk about fasting, they say we are imposing ourselves on others. This is the accusation I've had from day one. From the seminary. Ah, how can we eat three to five days in a, in a year? Drink even more times than required. And we want to see them with the Lord. Are we, are we Peter? When Peter was eating and drinking with his brother, you see the mess they, co they caused around Jesus. You see, they denied him, they betrayed him. We keep eating, we are betraying Jesus, we are betraying God. Eating and drinking. In the Lenten season, when we are supposed to fast, priests are not teaching. Even on Ash Wednesday, priests will eat by the meal. If the day they are eating Bangu and Okro plus uh, chicken, we'll eat it. And after that, we say that, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I've forgotten that today is Ash Wednesday. It's not happening. Yeah, if you like to ask cooks, if you like, if you know any cook in the Catholic Church, ask any cook in the Catholic Church. Good Father, we are eating. That is not worship. If you want to know, God is a mystery. He is in heaven. He's not on earth. So we have to deny ourselves so we can see him and delve into him and move on. That is mystical life. Talk about, read about all the doctors of the church. St. Ambrose, St. Augustine, St. Vladimir. They all went through purgation, purification. St. Teresa of Avila had to go through a lot of humiliations and the rest to have the truth come out, to teach us. Now, the fruit of self-denial Mystical life is always the truth.
to teach the truth. Moses came out with the Decalogue. Augustine has so much to give us. Only because he had converted and he had denied himself. When he converted, he built his own monastery. That's why you have the Augustinian monks. And he lived there doing penance. When he was in the world, as an atheist, he was eating and drinking. St. Paul was eating and drinking. When he converted, he was eating vegetables. In the year of St. Paul, I bought a book and I read it. I was in so too, when we had the same year of St. Paul. He denied himself so he could know. He lived in the desert three years. I won't say that wake up one day and say on to fast and fast without food for 40 days. I won't teach you that. No. It takes grace. God initiates it. But at least for us Catholics, for Christians today, even one meal, not to eat one meal a day, is a crime. It's a crime. A priest dies, a bishop dies, a religious sister dies. Let us go and have the funeral. Instead of us fasting even to pray, pray and do penance. This is what our lady taught the children. Do penance. Early morning, you are eating kinky. Before ordination, early morning, you are eating kinky. Instead of us even denying ourselves and praying. Lent, we don't want to fast. We choose one day or two days and deny ourselves one meal. No wonder we are collapsing. We are not showing reverence. A Catholic priest today is wearing mufti. We have become civilians. How will people see us and know that we are priests? And think about God at least. We all went to a seminary. We read Dear Seminarian from Catherine Doherty saying that we should wear the cassock and even walk praying the rosary in the streets, eh? in the streets, in the community. People will know that God is in their midst. And today,